today's game was really fun and awesome for our kids um, with it being a, a kids game. So I uh, just want to start off by acknowledging our marketing team for getting them here. And, um, you know, it's just it, it's just a special day for us. It's a cool opportunity for us to get to use our platform to um, give kids opportunities and exposure to really high level basketball. And, um, you know, we, we talked a lot before this game about just what we wanted to make of today. And, and that was um, just to inspire and, you know, be great role models for all the little ones out there. So I am very, very proud because I thought that our kids did that um, in every way, shape and form. Basketball wise, uh, just a, a really solid, complete game for us. I think Central Arkansas is a, a very good team. You know, if you look at what they did last season and returning everyone that they did, um, I think they're going to have a good year. And uh, we've kind of had a theme of playing teams like that that have, have been very successful last year with a lot of returning experience. And so I just love the way that our kids are responding to that because we really don't have that experience. But to, you know, have 33 made field goals on 24 assists, I mean, I think that speaks volumes to the selflessness of this group and uh, just the buy-in that they have to do what we're trying to get them to do. Defensively, I think we still have a lot of room to grow and need to get better. But overall, I just really thought this was a, a great, solid, and complete game for us. Coach, you can really tell within the first, I mean, you started off on a 9-0 run, and you really could tell right away that it was like you were clearly, you know, the better team today. Why do you think that you were able to stave off any runs even for them to make? It was just a dominant performance from tip to tip. Um, you know, we a couple games ago we had a, a really similar start that was hot. I think it was like 33-11 to 11 in the first quarter against, um, I want to say, Arkansas Pine Bluff. I have pregnancy brain sometimes, so I can't remember details, but I think that's what it was. Um, and I just thought that, you know, where I wasn't happy is I thought that our intensity kind of dropped a little bit. And so I've been focused on how I can help them and how I can push them to to just be more complete and, and you know, maintain or sustain that intensity for a full four quarters. And um, I think that happens in practice. And uh, we've really been raising our standard in practice and holding them to a higher standard. And um, I think what you saw today was just a result of them understanding what that standard is. Are you still sort of figuring out all the different weapons that you've got with this team? Because it yeah. seems like they kind of change from game to game. Yes, um, and that's a really awesome thing that we've got going for us right now is we do have so many weapons. Um, a really special one right here next to me. Um, I mean, she's been as solid as they come, not just offensively, but defensively, more importantly, which is, I say more importantly, because that's where we need to grow the most. And I think she's been a heck of a leader for us in that case. But um, yeah, it's it's great just knowing at any given time, you know, anyone can go off and it can be anyone's day or anyone's night. And the great thing about this team is they don't care. They don't care who it is and they're willing to do whatever it takes to, you know, help their teammates be successful. I think as a staff, we're still really trying to figure it out. And I mean, we had a about a three hour meeting a couple days ago trying to figure out, you know, rotations and how we can best help them. And um, that's still a work in progress. But I, I like what we did today. And I think that we, you know, can continue to to figure things out. But our depth is definitely our our biggest strength right now. How, how unique is it to have a team that is selfless like that, that doesn't care who it is that scores the points on any given game? It's the most fun team that I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, I, I can't really speak to other teams, but I, I just know I wake up and go to bed very, very thankful for this group of girls that we have. It's It's a fun and special thing to be a part of. Sort of speaking to that, Riley's four points probably won't jump off the stat sheet, but she had eight rebounds in 14 minutes. How important is it to have a piece like that that's willing to do the dirty work? Like yeah, did? I mean, that's that's Riley's role. You know, we talk about doing your job, and everyone has a very, very specific job to do, and rebounding is Riley's primary job for us. And she did a heck of a job today, uh, came in, was a great spark for us in that area, and uh, she needs to continue to do that for us. But, um, you know, she understands her assignment, so that was a, a great game for her. 
And then what does Tennant kind of bring to this team? It seems like she's made you guys quite more dynamic than maybe you were last season. Absolutely. Um, you know, when you've got a, a big of her caliber inside, but then you've got shooters to surround her, I mean, that's, that's hard to stop. And that's where I think what we were saying, you know, just our depth and our different weapons. Um, we're a very hard team to guard right now, and we got to continue to get better, and I, I got to continue to find ways to help them. But um, I, I like what we've got going right now. Sometimes it's an inside game, and sometimes it's an outside game. Coach, with so many, with so much depth, and I, you know, I think y'all have had four different leading scores so far this season. Um, defensively, do you do you notice opponents? Uh, I don't know, do, do opponents' game plans, have they changed kind of game to game just because maybe the, the hot hand in the last game was different? That's hard to say this early. I think everyone is kind of trying to just be good at what they do, um, you know. So, I mean, last game Fairfield has a very specific way of guarding, and I don't think that that was um, – that they changed that for us. And I, you know – this early, you don't really have that data or, or film to really know, but um, I, I wouldn't want to play against us, you know. I mean, it's kind of pick your poison. Um, so, again, though, we're, we're still trying to figure out how we can best help our kids, but um, I think it's, it's kind of hard to tell this early, but I think that we are problematic for some people. Micah, it's a, a interesting energy that's in the, in the building on field trip day. I'm curious what it what, uh, – <laughs> What you all notice uh, as players, because obviously you're focused on the game mostly, but uh, that and just, um, you know, what was kind of feeling good for you today? Yes, that game was super fun, super loud, um, but we focused on, like, using our hand signals and, you know, really communicating and having con a connection between our teammates. Um, so, and then I just let the offensive side come to me. Um, I just really um, emphasize my defense because I know uh, my defensive presence, so... That's really it, to be honest. Micah, you know, I'm sure y'all talked about, you know, hey, we could start off 5-0, and and, and and I'm sure y'all have other goals too, but, like, how good is it to actually be at this point and, and have won these first uh, several games, and, and do you feel like the team overall is gaining confidence? Yes, we're definitely gaining confidence, but I think the thing is we focus one game at a time, so it's just it just keeps our mind neutral and um, on the mission. One for, for both of you, whoever wants to, to go first. But um, it seems like Jane was settling in a little bit more as far as what we've seen from her in, in game action today. Um, curious what, what how you all are feeling about her kind of acclimating after missing so much time. Um, I think she's just finding her flow. Um, that's what freshmen need. And, yeah, once she gets in the game, she knows, like, where her shots are and where we are. So I think she's just finding her flow and getting the rhythm. Yeah, definitely. She she kind of had a tough hand dealt to her because she was she wasn't just out with limited minutes in practice. She was out for a straight month, and so that was hard for all of us because we were all getting a rhythm with her. And then um, you know she had to get healthy, and uh, she came back our toughest game against our our best opponent thus far in Fairfield. And that, that's just a tough game to come back to. So I'm excited to see her continue to get that rhythm and that flow. Uh, we saw a little bit more of that today, but I, I have no worries. Um, I, I think it's just going to be only a matter of time before she really gets things completely figured out. Um, she had good minutes today, but um, I know what she's capable of, and I think she does too. Uh, she caught me before I took the mic after the game and had to tell me, you know, hey, I've, I, I'm sorry about this. I figured this out. And, I mean, she, that's just who she is. You know, she really wants to be a great, um, a great teammate and, and do what her team needs her to do. Micah, can you kind of speak to how nice it is as a player and someone who's turned to a leader on this team to have so many options that can pick it up on any given night? Oh, yes, this team is very selfless, so... It's just fun, to be honest. Like, you get to find different options. Teams can't really guard you because if they take away one option, then the other option is open. So it's just free and fu fun, and the offense just flows. Anything else? Jason, you've got one more game before the, the Daytona trip. Who's going who's gonna to actually fill your role? I know you said it's going to be kind of a team effort, but who will be the acting head coach, I guess, when you all go to Daytona? Yeah, so uh, Jasmine Player will be um, our associate head coach, and um, – Man, I just I have all the faith in the world in her. Um, she's probably the most disciplined 
hardest assistant I've ever had. And it's only a matter of time, I hate to say it, until she is a head coach um, on her own. Um, but she, she's built for it. Um, we've been preparing really. She was one of the very, very first people that I told that I was pregnant. And, um, you know, I, I told her because I, I knew at that point in time, I trust you and I want you to know this is coming and uh, we've kind of been preparing in the back of our minds, whether subconsciously or, or consciously, you know, knowing that that's coming. And um, so she's, she's had a lot of practice reps, um, our exhibition game. She coached for a quarter, you know, we, we've been trying to do different things to just get her as comfortable as possible, but um, she will be taking over. And then of course, it's just, I mean, we've, we have a lot of staff meetings. Our, our staff is very, very close and, and connected. And, you know, everyone understands that when I'm gone, other people are going to have to step up. And um, I have no doubt that they will. It's we, we have a really great thing going with our staff. And honestly, I think that's why our, our team is the way they are, because it starts with our staff. And it's a, a special thing.